dawn is breaking over Lakehurst, New Jersey, when the Hindenburg, biggest airship in the world, completes her maiden crossing of the North Atlantic. Her nose is pointed earthward as the huge Skyliner approaches the mooring mast. Water ballast is released. It acts as a brake and slows up her descent, and the water just misses the ground crew, waiting to ease the vessel into position. Nothing gives a finer impression of her proportions than these shots taken as American sailors handle the ship. Dr. Eckner looks out, seemingly delighted with the whole performance. And there's Captain Lehmann, joint commander. Moored at the mast, the Hindenburg is slowly swung round and manoeuvred into the hangar. Her voyage of 4,381 miles, completed in 61 hours, 39 minutes, a record. These pictures at Lakehurst were flown back by the Hindenburg. Your newsreel, as you'd expect, adopts the last word in modern transport. Dr. Eckner expresses satisfaction with his ship's behavior. We had a very successful flight, I admit, under favorable weather conditions. And at sunrise, the Hindenburg returns to Germany. The homeward trip sets up another record. But thanks to the westerly wind, the journey is done in just over 48 hours.